Hello and welcome to this Tableau rapid fire tutorial. This is going to be fast and it's going to be entertaining and at the same time, very, very powerful. So we're visualizing five data sets in Tableau, five different data sets in record time. Let's quickly go through them. If you want to download these data sets, click the link below to get your access. So what do we have in this first CSV file? In the first CSV file, we have the top 200 movies of the decade of the 2010s. So we have 200 movies here, all by title, the genre, uh, when they were released in theaters, uh, the critic score, the audience score, the budget of the movie, box office, US and Canada, box office worldwide, uh, num runtime in minutes, synopsis, what um, we like a short summary of the movie, critic consensus, what the critics say overall, studio, content rating, and URL. So that's our first data set. We're not going to save that. What's our second data set? Michael Jordan's career. So if you go into Michael Jordan's career over here, you'll see. Um, a lot of NBA stats. So if you're a fan of the NBA, you're going to love this data set. Even if you're not, you're going to love this data set because it's got a lot of data. So the season when he played all of his career, all of the seasons, regular or um, playoffs, game, date, age, his age, age precise, the team he played for, home away, opponent, win or lose, outcome in points difference, minutes he played, field goals he scored, field goals attempt he made, field goal percentage, and lots of other um, parameters around his play. The main one we're going to be interested in is game score because he's had the highest game score of all players and nobody has ever beaten that. We're going to find in which month that happened. Don't save. Next one is World Bank. World Bank doesn't need an introduction. Very popular source of data. These are world economic development indicators uh, by country by year, um, it's got birth rate, death rate, electric power consumption, GDP, USD, GDP per capita, that's one we're going to be interested in. Individuals using the internet, that's also what we're going to be interested in. Infant mortality, life expectancy population, uh, and unemployment rate. Great data set to practice your skills. We're going to be visualizing and finding a country to go live in. Glassdoor, so here we've got two data sets, uh, very interesting different formats, same similar data. So this is median base pay. This is actual salary data from Glassdoor for November 2019 by city in the US. So you can actually find out how much you should be getting paid if you live in one of these cities or if you move into one of them. Job category, job title. One tab in this spreadsheet. In this other spreadsheet, we have a tab per city. And here we've got year on year growth of the median base pay. Question, how would you connect these two spreadsheets in Excel, how long would it take you? Let's see how long it takes us in Tableau. Uh, nobody says you cannot connect data in Tableau. And finally, Spotify data, the top 100 streamed songs of 2018. You've got a uh, title, artist, uh, Drake's over there right away, um, Post Malone, um, and lots of other really cool artists here at Sheeran. Uh, genre, danceability, energy, key, and so on. We're going to be interested in speechiness. How many words are there in that song on average? And um, what else? We're going to be interested in uh, balance. How positive is that song? Is it more? Is it mostly positive? Is it mostly negative? We're going to be visualizing a cool scatter plot around that. Okay, so that's your data sets. If you want to get them, click the link below to download. Otherwise, we're proceeding to visualizing. Let's see how fast we can do it. All right, so let's get the timer going. We're going to set it to five minutes. Let's get started. So here are our top five, 200 movies. Drag it in. What do we want to visualize? We want to take audience uh, score. What did the audience give that movie? What did the critics get, give that movie? Then we want to take a genre. We want to put it into actually color. Um, and then what do we want to take? We want to take title, put it into detail, create a beautiful scatter plot. It's too far away, so let's unhinge these axes, which are... Uh, it's set to include zero. We don't want that. We want to zoom in into our data. Beautiful. Um, we want to take box office worldwide, put it into size, um, change this to a circle, increase size quite a bit, change color, transparency, add a bit of a border. Fantastic. Take the synopsis, add it to tooltip. Now, if you scroll, you can read about your favorite movie, uh, Avengers Endgame. How much box office? What did the critics rate it? Uh, Hustlers, um, Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, Rocket Man, and so on. That took us exactly one minute. Next one. Next one is Michael Jordan's career. This one should be faster. Let's take Michael Jordan, put him in here. <laughs> uh, then we're going to look at date. 
We're going to look at his career by month. We're going to use the continuous month in Tableau. We're going to look at as agreed game score. We're not going to add it up. There's no point in adding it up. We're going to take maximum game score, change this to a bar chart, add color for season. And there you go. Maximum game score was in March 19. Um, 90. He scored 64.6 .6 on his game score. That's the highest game score anybody has ever gotten in the NBA. That took us 40 seconds. Okay, next chart, we're going to be picking a country to live in. World Bank, to drag the World Bank data in here. Um, we want to live in a country where there's great access to internet, in individuals using the internet, and great GDP per capita. So lots of things are getting done. Uh, let's take country name, put it into detail. Latest data that we have on this, uh, uh, that is available to us on these things. Let's change this before we do that. Change this to discrete, put it in here. 2017 is the data we want to filter by. Let's shift this like that. Quickly add a reference line for the average. Quickly add a reference line here for the other average. We want to live in a country that is above average on both of these indicators. So let's pick these countries out. Right click, create set. Okay, beautiful. Let's create a map. Let's take country name, put it in here. Let's take our set. Oh, first we'll change this to a map. Um, then let's check out, take our set, put it in here. Voila, in one minute, just over one minute, we are able to pick out the countries we want to live in right on the map. Pick a region where you want to go live. Uh, finally, not finally, almost finally, a Glassdoor data set. Let's take our Glassdoor data. We're going to take median base pay, drag it in here. You will see that this data is not pivoted. What do we do? Oh no, well, Tableau allows you to pivot data in a blink. So let's pivot this. Now we have city over here. Now we have median base pay over here. Base pay. Um, now we want to connect to our other data, year on year growth, which has a different format. Let's connect to, first we'll connect to Atlanta. Um, our join should be specified on job category, job title job title doesn't make sense to connect just to Atlanta. So let's create a union, take all these cities, put them in here, creating a union, boom, 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 union done. Um, so now we have let's uh, reorder this in the same order we put them in. Great. So now we have a uh, sheet, this should be city two, that's from the second data source. So now we can change this to city equals city two. Voila, everything is connected. So now we can go proceed to visualizing our data set. What do we want to see? We want to see job category, job title by city, and we want to see year on year growth of median base pay, put it also into color. Um, actually, let's just show it, show it like that, flip it one more time and have a look where do you want to work as a data scientist? Where is the highest growth? Well, the highest median base pay if we put into tooltip is in San Francisco. We all know that 143,000, but the highest growth is in Philadelphia, 21%. Might want to go live there. All right, we have 30 seconds left and we can only visualize very quickly Spotify data. So let's go over here, Spotify, Spotify in there. We want to visualize um, speechiness against valence and we want to visualize that by title. So there's our speechiness against balance. We might want to flip that and we can put genre in here. So this is showing us how time up, but we're going to finish up this week very quickly. Almost, almost made it in um, the five minutes. So let's quickly uh, add a reference line here. So this is going to be a constant um, at 50. So this is a constant at 50. And the uh, value we're going to put here, we're going to say that this is um, mood neutrality line. So that's a mood neutrality line. Songs below are sad, songs above are happy. Uh, let's put in that average line for, as reference line for um, a speechiness, how much uh, words are in a song. Uh, we're going to also add another reference line for, we're going to add a, a band with a speechiness, a speechiness between 30 and 60, which are the recommended um, constants by uh, Spotify. Now we're going to change this to um, circle. We're going to increase the size a little bit, change this to add a border, reduce uh, the transparency. Um, let's click these ones over here. 
we're going to annotate mark and we can add our favorite artists over here who are the songs with the most words ever um, well in that data set so that is in 2018 so what do we want to do we want to just quickly format this add a bit of color to the line so there you go so here you can see this these songs are sad underneath they're also colored by genre these songs are happy I'm mostly happy that's our mood neutrality line these songs have a lot of words so here we've got river with uh ed sheeran and uh, eminem and uh, two other songs the most species songs and you can uh, check out how they distribute by genre so there we go that was five data sets in tableau very fast a bit over five minutes but as you can see we were able to create this extremely fast look at these beautiful insightful visualizations uh different very interesting data sets once again, you can get the data sets by clicking the link below. And also, this illustrates, uh, my friends, that if you want to do analytics fast, you need a drag and drop business intelligence tool. Even if you know Python, if you know um, R and you're uh, great at machine learning and things like that, I challenge you to recreate all of these visualizations in 10 minutes, even in 10 minutes in Python or in R that I don't really I don't think that is going to be possible to do it as fast and as efficiently with all the additional information. Um, so if you would like to learn Tableau, check out our brand new Tableau certified associate certification course It will prepare you for the exam will actually prepare you for you for two exams, the desktop specialist exam and the certified associate exam. Click the link below, join our course, and you can be certified in Tableau within no time. In under a month, you can get be, you can get learn all of this and much more and get certified uh, in Tableau. Brand new course we are releasing in 2020 with a brand new version of Tableau with amazing data sets. These are just some examples of the data sets you'll be working with. On that note, I really look forward to seeing you in the course and good luck with your data science. And until next time, Happy analyzing.